Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains and Happy New Year's. Um, we're going to start off the new year with something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time and just haven't done. Uh, I'm going to uh, rename this railroad, this, this locomotive, for my railroad. Um, I've just come up with a name. I've been thinking about it on and off for the last, I don't know, three or four years. And... I think I finally uh, come up with a name for it, and I think it's going to be the Brookfield Central. Um, Brookfield being the name of the, the fictional town that the train station is in, and the, that whole facility, and I'm going to name the uh, railroad after that. So this is a locomotive that I've had back from the first time I started messing with with n scale this is one of the first locomotives it's dc but it doesn't work anymore it, it's it's in really bad shape there's there's really it's there's no saving it but what i am going to do is i'm going to use this as a test bed to figure out how to do all the re, re i'm actually going to repaint this whole locomotive but I have had questions on how to remove decals from, from a locomotive like this to uh, re-decal it. So I'm going to start with that, and then we're actually going to go into, I'm going to strip down this whole thing. So I'm going to start with um, removing the shell from this locomotive, only because, you know, it's just easier to handle. So what I have here is, this is a, uh, you've probably seen this if you've looked it up on, on the internet at all. Um, it's just a case from from a train car or a locomotive. I'm going to set the front steps right on the edge of the case here. Uh, just like this. And I'm just going to raise it up and drop it down. And it comes right off. Um, some of them might be a little harder to do. You may need to do that on both ends a couple of times. But it will drop right off and, and, and come right out of there. Um, so now we're left with this. And I'm going to start with this. With uh, removing, let's t just take off this, this rear Conrail decal here. So we'll start with that. So what I have is some 70% alcohol. Right here. And I'm just going to take some of that. And I'm going to put it in a small cup. So just a small amount here. And we're going to remove this, this decal. So I'm going to get a Q-tip. And I'm just going to soak the Q-tip in the alcohol. <clears throat> and I'm just going to wet down this decal. I'm going to let it sit for a minute with the alcohol on it. And you're gonna need to let that soak into the into the uh, decal, and then I'm not gonna let it sit too long. And then we're gonna start wiping it off, and we're just gonna keep going like this until it comes off. And it will come off, and it'll come off fairly clean. So I'm going to let this sit for a little bit. Um, I'm just going to put it on here. You don't want to leave it on too, too long because the, the alcohol will eventually start to soften the paint and you'll lose it and, and you'll start losing paint. But when you start seeing the paint come off on, on the, on the Q-tip here, means that, you know, your decal's coming off. Now there were numbers right on this board right here that I did remove, just, just to show you. Um, this, this set right here and another set on this side right here. Those all came off, they were there and, and they came off just fine. It just takes a little time and patience um, but they will eventually come off. And we'll just keep rubbing with this. So I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and uh, we'll come back 
in a few minutes. I'll let you know how long it took before it started coming, when I come back, how long it's been, and then we'll, we'll take a look at it at that point. Okay, so I've let this sit for probably four or five minutes, and I'm gonna soak this again, and you can see that this is starting to come off. Now I have a little wooden stick here, and I'm just gonna rub right along here just a little bit and kind of help that along. The wood is good because it's not going to scratch anything. You don't want to use anything metal, but plastic uh, wood is, is good like this. It'll, it'll, it'll do what you want. And then we can wipe off some of this. You can see the Q-tip, I don't know if you can see it, but it's turning the lightest, ever lightest shade of blue now. Um, so you just keep working it like this until it's all off. And just a light touch with the wood. You don't want to scrub it hard. And there you go. This is about 90, 95% off. There's a little bit around the hinges here, but if I kept working it, I can get all that off as well. And there's a little remnant of the C right here in the end. But anyway, that that's the process of how you do it. You have to be careful. You have to watch your Q-tip here so that you're not you're watching for the paint to show up on here. When it starts showing up on there is when you really got to start being a little more careful with it or you will start taking the paint off. Now, I just wanted to show that just, just so you can see how the decals get removed. And, and there you go, that's, that's, that's kind of how you do it. All right, it just takes time and patience um, to keep working it. Now, because I'm stripping this whole locomotive down and I'm gonna repaint it, I'm not gonna go any further with this. You, you see the process, that, that's all you need to do. Now, to strip this whole locomotive down, it's, a little bit different and what I got to do in order to get this off is I have to remove all these railings all the way around the, the rear one here the front one the side railings I have to pull out the windows and the air horns so why don't we start pulling some of that apart now this one I haven't started pulling apart yet so I don't know how easy that's gonna go but what I have here is a flat blade like this and all I'm gonna do is on the inside I don't know if you can see this or not, but the pins that go from this railing, it's actually a long strip that comes along the edge here. And and the pins go through the body and then they melted them over on the inside. So I'm just gonna shave off the melted plastic that they, they got on there. Like that. And then we should be able to pull this right out of here. I'm just going to use the flat blade to stick it in there and just pull on it. like that and then we'll work our way along and just pull this all out
and there's our first railing off and you can see the pins are still on here so so when we go and reinstall this these pins will still be on here and it'll fit right back in um, so now I'm gonna go by and let's let's pull this off it's the air horns and you want to be careful not to take your knife and gouge the plastic because the, it can be fixed but you don't want to you don't want to really break anything or, or put any huge things so we'll keep all these pieces All right, so as it turns out, I had a hard time. My batteries went dead in the camera, so I had to change batteries. And while I was doing that, I found out, which I didn't know, was this roof is actually a separate piece from the rest of the cab. And once the, the, the little roof came off, the windows come right out. All right, so this is completely disassembled at this point. Um, small lens right here. So I think we can just push that out of there. Go this way. There it is. Okay, so there's the lens from the back. Goes right into this hole right here. And I think we're pretty well clear. I got no lights in the front here. So that's cleared. Now we just need to clear out this part. So now we're all cleaned out. We're all, all the parts are apart. We have all of our pieces. So now what I'm gonna do is I have a small tub here. And I'm gonna put all these parts in here. I have everything. These pieces we're gonna we're not gonna put in the tub. And then I have 90% alcohol. So this is just just 90% alcohol. And we're gonna take some of this and I'm just gonna fill the container just enough to cover all the parts. like that. So for this one it took maybe a quarter of a bottle to fill in there. And I am going to let this soak for probably the better part of a day because I want to get rid of everything on there. Um, we're going to fully strip that down and uh, we'll come back in a little while. I'll come back and we'll start. I'll show you what it looks like all cleaned off. So we'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I finished um, I finished soaking this in the alcohol, the 90% alcohol, and surprise, surprise, it's molded in blue plastic. Um, and I know this because after soaking it for three hours, uh, it really wasn't changing color. So what you want to do, I suppose, and what I'll do in the future, is to check to see, you know, what's under the paint before you start soaking it so you know what you're looking for. And the best way that I can think of to do this is to look up underneath, take a knife, and just scratch into the, into the paint. See, when I do that, I get blue plastic. So I didn't do this ahead of time. And you can tell that that's the plastic because I can see a mold line right here. Okay, and there's little pieces in here from the mold itself. 
so I know that that's how it's molded and all of these are molded in blue as well but it was painted with blue paint over the blue plastic so that came off I want to say about an hour to two hours in it was all off and I kept going because I was you know assuming that this was molded in, in white or gray and, and it wasn't so that's what we have so so I, I've, I've um, finished soaking it obviously and then I put it in a tub of soapy water and I soaked it for a few minutes wash this all off and let it air dry so at this point now is where I want to take it and I want to um, I want to prime it and start painting it now I'm not going to do that in this video we'll, we'll do that next time for the next video um, but this is ready for all of that and the color scheme for this that I'm going to do again this is a fictional railroad only exists in, in my house and it's going to be a, a dark blue as a base color and then I'm going to have a silver stripe that goes down the sides all the way around and that silver stripe is going to be bordered in a thin red stripe so that's what I'm looking to do and uh, yeah so, so that's how this is going to be and you know hopefully it comes out the way I see it and uh, so that's going to be it for this video um, next week we'll, we'll look at priming it and getting it painted and hopefully it comes out good so that's it for this week um, thanks for watching and please if you haven't subscribed please subscribe love to have you along you know checking out what I do like like to have everybody watching and uh, until next time happy modeling